Hello everyone! Welcome back to Artie and Marty Let's Plays. Together we are going to be doing Animal Crossing for the GameCube! And I am so excited Weird. because this is one of my favorite games that I've ever played. Especially for Wait, my child. Really? Yes! I, one of your favorites? I am wow, a weirdo okay. who likes to play Animal Crossing and Harvest Moon. So you decide to move out, get your own place, see the world? That's groovy. Who needs someone telling you what to do all the time? You can do what you want, when you want, where you want. Yeah, living on your own, being free, it feels great. But, living by yourself, it could be a real drag too. Still, if you've got some really tight friends somewhere nearby, then you know it'll all work out. Yeah man, friends are far out. Oh, I guess I'm kinda rambly. My bad. So, are you ready to hop on that train and go for a ride? Could you help me out? It is, is it, let's see, 8.23 p.m. on Wednesday, October 10th, 2018? That's when we're recording it. That is absolutely no, wrong. No, we are going to start another. What? It's not? Well, what do you, do you think you could straighten this out for me? Sure. Yeah, you're, I don't know how Rover that time got that out of whack, but, oh, um, Rover. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not. Let me get this straight. You say it's 1224 p.m. on June 1st, 2018? You sure? Perfect! Yes. No, no, no! Say, thanks! You're too kind. Really, you're a big help. <laughs> so, you mind if I sit here? I promise I won't fall asleep, tumble onto you, and start drooling on your shirt. Please, uh, sure. Sure. <laughs> sure. You've been sitting here. You're a cool cat. Thanks again. It sure is nice meeting friendly folk on the train. You aren't a psycho, right? Just kidding. Excuse you, sir. Say, by the way, what's your name? My name is. It's Pretty so. Marty. And, uh, those letters are all next to each other. Where are you headed? Well, I heard okay, there so... was an amazing <laughs> vacation spot called Botopia. Yeah, Botopia. <laughs> the most amazing. Don't ask why ever. we're naming it that, please. <laughs> You're going to Botopia? That's, That's right. <laughs> hey, I know that place. Botopia is one of my favorite vacation spots, dude. We just made up that town off the spot. Don't lie. Rover also is too. <laughs> All right, now we get to see who, what look you look like monkeys. and what shirt you're wearing. Yeah. You're wearing a plaid pink shirt? Don't really like plaid very much, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. yeah! Botopia! Now we're arriving at Botopia! Welcome to Botopia! Watch your step! Eek, eek. So here's the sad thing. We actually can't check the map right now until after I buy a house. Yeah, so you can't so see which villagers are you down. can't see which villagers are Okay, I'll just say there's a few. Villagers, where if we get them, I will be tempted to just call a reset. Oh my gosh. Here we are. Not too shabby, hmm? I can most heartily recommend any of these houses. Take your pick. Feel free to take a look inside. Really, I don't mind. Not in the least. After all, the doors don't have any locks. Just stand by the door and press the A button. What if someone, like, robs me? That's a problem. It's Animal Crossing. Everyone's nice. Oh yeah, I like this one. You like that um, one? Yeah, it's got the birchwood flooring and the um, rusted I'll, I'll go metal with that one. wall. Nope. All right. So villagers. We have a lot of villagers. So the post office is right next to us. The dump is also up there. Okay. Sweet. We All right. Here we go. Roald. Okay. Rhoda. Rhoda. Okay. Tabby. Tabby. Of course. That's fine. Kiki. Kiki. Groucho. Yes. I've never heard of him. And Elmer. You've never heard of Groucho? He no. was one of the original gr gr guys oh. we had in our town. Oh, I didn't play back in the day. Okay. That's not a bad. That's not a bad. He was town. literally the original right. grumpy guy. We First had. thing you do whenever you play this game, don't go to the shop. Go to the dump. The dump always has stuff. Oh, in and Marty gets first pick of the stuff in the dump, which There's is nothing. nothing. <laughs> maybe they do. Maybe you don't get anything in the dump till later. Okay. So you want to meet the guys first, or go to the milk store? Um, so let's meet a guy. Oh my gosh! You're a penguin. You're a penguin. I knew that. Oh. Hey, how's it going? You were the cutest little penguin ever. My name's Roald. I live just around the corner, buddy. Actually, I've always wanted to have him in my town. I'm so happy. So, what's your name? Marty? That's your name? What a ridiculous name. Well, that's what? really rude. What a rude penguin. Still, it'll be hard to forget, buddy. All right, I think he's like the jock of the Bye. Game. Who's here? What, what the, the Whoa! Heck? Rainbow chicken! <laughs> well, oh, you're the female. Well, it's not every day I see a new face around here, Clucky. Oh, you're Marty, are you, Clucky? I'm Rhoda. No, the pleasure's all mine, really, Clucky. Well, she seems nice. She's nice. She's a I nice like type. Rhoda already. So, each of the villagers that you get in your town have different personality types. Yep, there's so... There's, like, nice, jock, um, well, grumpy... So, in this, in this, there's like grumpy slash cranky... 
Steven. Scary slash jock. Hey, Lazy. Tabby. I get you in every town we ever have. Seriously, Tabby, I Hello. don't- Hello, can I help you or were you just captivated by my beauty meow? It's okay, I'm just teasing you. Of course, that's not to say I don't have a lot of admirers meow. Anyway, I'm Tabby. Who are you? Right, Marty! Nice to meet you, meow. Mm. Goodbye. Okay, okay, yeah. I need to preface this. Literally every, every town, town we ever create has Tabby in it. I don't know why. That's Groucho. You've never seen it? What, so you think you can just come up and start talking to me out of the blue? Well, huh? You're Marty. Well, that's just swell. And you only came here to say hi. Well, that's downright neighborly of you. Everyone calls me Groucho. Sorry if I sounded hot-headed. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> That's cool. I like him. He's cool. Yeah, Groucho was All the right. original grumpy guy we had in our very first Animal Crossing town. Hey, hey it's, it's a Elmer! Horse. Wow! W what is it? Don't scare me like that. Sheesh! I don't even know you! Do you just go around scaring total strangers? That's mean, Tenderfoot! I'm Elmer. Nice to meet you, but next time don't scare me like that, Marty. I didn't even tell you my name. Also, How'd you know it? Also, can I just say it's kind of creepy that there's a horse named Elmer? Maybe. I don't know exactly what you mean, but... Um, Elmer's glue. Glue oh. used to be made out of horses. Oh! Well, goodbye, Elmer. He seems nice, though. Uh... Yeah, so there are the three male personalities are grumpy, jock, and lazy. Then the three female personalities are nice, um, peppy, and <gasps> aloof. <laughs> you, get one of each, you get one of each personality in your town, out. guaranteed. Look at that! Whoa! I've what? never seen a path like I've that! I've seen that only once or twice. Whoa! You're a cat! Oh you my have two gosh. cats in our town. Hello, I'm Kiki. If you don't mind, could you... Do you think you'd like to be friends? Oh, that's super! I'm a little shy, but I'm glad I worked up the courage to ask you, Kitty Cat. She's my favorite. <laughs> oh, we'll have so much fun together, Marty. Have a good afternoon and come talk to me again! Wait, so I just realized something. I thought that the nice personality was the chicken, Rhoda, but no, she's the aloof personality. She's the aloof? What? We have an aloof rainbow chicken! Oh, <gasps> furniture! Don't take everything, please. What is this? Oh, that's my hammock. <gasps> yes, that that's mine! Didn't you just move here? How no, no, move? this is mine. <laughs> it's totally moving me! Eh? What? Who are you? You, whippersnapper, tell me something. Who do you respect the most? My dad, my mom, my grandma, my grandpa. Grandpa. Well now, have my wife and old looks inspired respect? You may be young, but you have a keen eye. Tell me, what's your name? Marty. Well, that's nice. It's different. Your parents must be proud. Thanks. My name is Tortimer. I happen to be the mayor here in Botopia. Yepper, quite the big job. You seem like a decent sort. Whenever there's a holiday or event going on in town, why don't you come see me? I'm sure I'll have some interesting stuff to pass on. Yepper, I surely will. <laughs> well, finally you arrive. What took you so long? Sorry. I was starting to wonder if you'd show. Oh, my kid. Very good, yes. First off, you'll need to change into these clothes. Okay. If you must know, I suppose I'd call it your uniform. Please let me know when you're done changing, yes? Jeez, talk about no privacy. <laughs> I'm just gonna hide behind here. <laughs> All right. I mean, you can also step outside to change if you want. Eh, that's, fine. that's even worse than I'm in the public eye of animals. That's that's true. You can go to your house, I guess. But if there's no lock, that's better. Yes, you look like you were born to wear that uniform. That's all I live to. It actually doesn't look that bad. Now you can start working off the remaining 18,800 bells you owe on your house. Hurrah! But first off, I want you to go plant some trees and flowers around my shop. What? The area around here is too dull, not charming at all. It's just not an ideal sort of shopping experience, hmm? It's your people, own fault. People like shopping in areas that are clean and well kept, so I want you to spruce things up a bit for me. When you're finished, come and tell me yes. So here's the thing, you can point those wherever the heck you want. It does not have to be around I'm gonna be the bad employee! Actually, no, I'll, I'll plant one flower. If I were red tulips, please don't plant them. I, red tulips are the best. Ugly There's your pink cosmos. Um. Oh, this is the best music in the game. Yeah, and you only hear it once, so enjoy it. You only um, hear this while you're working for Tom Nook. I'm gonna put a tree right here. You can put them wherever. I know. You want, yeah, honestly. they don't even have to grow, so I'm just gonna kind of put them wherever. 
<laughs> that will definitely not okay. grow. It's way too close to the bush. And then that will probably not grow. Fall. It's too close to another tree. Who's a who's a cool animal? This dude. That's Roald. Penguin? That's Roald. Yeah. Guess what? You're getting a yellow tulip, sir. <laughs> Elmer, where are you? Elmer. Elmer's fun. Where's uh, Elmer? He's down. Oh, he's down. Elmer, you're getting a flower, bud. Um. I saw purple hands. But going back to the fact that Tabby always appears in our town, I really do think that depending on your game copy, you will have different Certain different animals. weighted because, villagers. Because Does, when I've watched other people, they don't always get Tabby, or like they'll always get a certain villager that I'm like, but I want them so badly. Yeah. Generally in our discs experience, we always get Tabby. We always we, get Kitty. We always get Kitty. We always get Tiny. All three of them are cats. Gabby. Gabby is the most annoying rabbit ever. Ursula is like the ugliest bear ever. The ugliest bear. Um, no, I I would say I'm sorry, but I'm not. It's a fact. She's like huge purple, has a bad toupee. <laughs> I'm not joking when I say Ursula is like a female bear who has a toupee. It's terrible. <laughs> hey, hey, I want a little happy. Change back in my uniform. Out of my oh, uniform. this is priceless. If you change out of your uniform and go back in. <laughs> <laughs> Change out of your uniform, hmm? Just who gave you permission to do that, I'm wondering? I swear, what is it with kids these days, hmm? Always needing a casual workplace. Why, when I was young, we... I suppose I must change with the times, yes? Finally. Go on with your hip hipness. Wear whatever you like. But you can't wear anything that might make my customers feel uncomfortable, yes? On this point, I won't budge. Aww. That's just the way society works, you understand? Sometimes you have to obey the rules, yes? Why do I always have to wear a witch hat, huh? I swear this game gets better as it, it does. This is the goes. slow part. Well, this I mean, it's not. Part. It's never going to be the most exciting game because it is just Where like slice know? of life. He was here two seconds ago. He's oh, in his he house. Needs his house. Normal. I'm used to the house being lit up. Let's see what his house. He's is. not in his house. Well, this is a cool house. He's got like the kid playroom Dude, with a space their, shuttle. Who leaves their house unlocked? Also, yep. Like oh, he's one of the here. few animals who actually has a toilet in his house. Well, I mean, good for Well, he, that means he's in the acre. If you can enter his house, he's in the acre somewhere. Which Where is are nice. you? And the acre is essentially the square that you can walk in and when it transitions. Oh, there you are. What the? He, he just warped! Oh, he must have been behind his house and then he walked out. <laughs> huh? You again? Hey there, b -b buddy. Anywho, you probably want something, don't you? So what is it, b -b buddy? Delivery. <laughs> you could literally just be, Hi! Hi! <laughs> Whoa, what's up with this? What are you doing delivering stuff? You lose a bet? Yes. Against, um, a my life. landlord. <laughs> Against the wife. <laughs> oh, so that's the story. You're in a bit of a bind, huh? <laughs> that's the way it goes in the big old real world. Gotta get by somehow. Don't worry about it, Hello? buddy. My character has not changed expression the entire time. It's, oh, it's creepy. It's just like... <laughs> Tell you what, how's about I hook you up with this rad bear pole as a little housework? A, a bear, bear pole?! <laughs> <laughs> the best gift I've ever hey, received. Hey, no big thing, baby. Okay, let's put this sweet, sweet bear pole down. Whoa! That doesn't look like a bear at all! No, it's like, it's like a... Indian it's a totem bear. pole. It's a totem pole. It's not pole. a bear pole. Maybe it was weird translation. Okay. There were, there was a lot of weird translations, to be fair. Cute hand, huh? Um, hammock. You actually have a place to sleep now. Whoa! I mean, granted, your wall still looks like crap, but... Hey. <laughs> but you've got a dope bed now. This is awesome. Okay, I'm gonna move this. <laughs> Hmm, okay. what's that? You say it's too difficult to try to find things without a map? Honest, kids these days and their constant complaints. Why, when I was just a little raccoon, I... Oh, never mind. Okay, okay, here's a map. Press the X button to look at it. It should serve your needs just fine. Perfect. Your next job is to write some copy for direct mailing. You know, some sort of personal advertisement. I want you to send it to Tabby, who lives in an acre somewhere in the road D. It's just good business. Tabby's a very loyal customer, so this is a notice of a special sale. You're the only shop in town! Of course they're loyal customers. As for what you write, well, I'll leave it up to you, Marty, but try to make it exciting. Actually, Ooh. he's the only shop in the entire game! Because he runs every town. You can use this stationery to write the letter. Alright. Go to the post office to mail the letter, yes? You'll find the post office in Acre A4. Now hurry back. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's write this. So you can write whatever you want. You can even... So literally, you just have to choose Tabby. And you can write whatever you want. You can write nothing. As long as you ad address a letter to Tabby, then it can go through. <laughs> that's, the oh, that's the problem at the beginning of the game when you have two people in town or more. It's basically like, I want the tool of the day. I want the tool of the day. And then you both end up being tools of the day. Yep. 
Oh well, we can't all be tools. I uh, haven't actually prepared the next package I need you to deliver. Hmm? I'm a bit behind. It would be a waste for you to just hang around here and wait for me, so why don't you go help out with the villagers? Okay. You may find you can do a little better working for them than you can for me, but not much better, yes? I might just get stationary. Just be sure to come back after, here after a bit, okay? Okay, let's go talk to Rainbow Chicken. <laughs> I want to talk to her. Her name more. is Rhoda. I'm not going to remember that. Where I thought she? Rhoda was a uh, rhinoceros wearing too much makeup, but she's not. Yo! Chicken! Marty, you really do talk too much, you know, Clucky. Okay, now she's being ruder. <laughs> well, let's get right to the point. What can I do for you, Clucky? Give me work! You always show up just when I'm thinking about you, Marty. Will you really help me? In that case, can you please go to Groucho's house and get my Game Boy? Groucho borrows stuff, but then never returns it! Beware that scoundrel! So will you do it for me? Let me do it! You remember Quest? Run along now. Yeah, now she sounds more snooty. Okay, sometimes the, <laughs> there's some hilarious dialogue that you can get for characters where they're just like, you need to go get this, like, Pokemon, Pokemon Pikachu. Pikachu. Or blah, 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 borrow my tissue or my handkerchief. Okay, there is you no don't tissue. borrow handkerchief. You do in Japan. Hey, mm, Marty, huh? What is it? So, uh, what do you want? Oh, whoops, are you going to take the Game Boy back to Rhoda? Well, then here it is, I truly appreciate it. Yeah, I'm going to get stationed. Yeah, basically, how, depending on how long it can take you to do that, it, you'll get a different award. If, if you get it back right from the person and they're not like, oh, I would to Tabby. Tabby, then you're probably going oh, to get no, the stationary reward. Oh, no, it looks like this reward. weirdo borrowed a weird... There you are. She teleported, too! <laughs> All the people in the village can teleport. <laughs> Holy cow. Delivery. <laughs> I don't believe it! You actually managed to get my Game Boy back! Impressive! Most impressive! You're incredible! I'd like to give you the stationery for your effort. I hope you'll accept it! That's the oh stupidest boy. Boy. Well, no, it's not stupid when you have to get fossils. You can you always- never have to buy But you can always just buy stationery from the store and it costs you, like, a, a hundred oh. bells. Yeah. Mm. Alright. Holy cow, it's ten bucks for a pack of paper. Ten bucks? No, I think it's actually like Just one dollar. Okay. Yen works. But here's the thing. So one hundred yen is about a dollar. Okay. So a hundred okay. bells would be about a dollar. But I, I was just thinking because shirts cost you at three hundred and sixty. I'm like thirty six dollars for a shirt is, I mean high. Ninety six thousand. But it's also. But, uh, where's no Albert? Monopoly. Were you able to help anybody out? Many animals need things. Did you get anything good in return? I got no. stationery! <laughs> the critters in town are all fairly generous, so your work never goes unrewarded. That's quite nice. Yes, that, it's not like, here's your cable bag. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> let's deliver a carpet! And don't dilly-dally along the way. Mm -hmm. Take this carpet to Rhoda, yes? Wow, you're just doing everything for Rhoda. <laughs> Rhoda, here's your dang carpet. Just because I'm not watching you doesn't mean you can stop and chit-chat with folks as you meet them on the way. Then again, there's no way I can keep tabs on you. Just try not to gab too much. Tell me when you're done. Gab. Rhoda. Also, yes. you're wearing the heart shirt and the spade shirt is available for... So. That's also, I'm just gonna say, you can always tell... You can almost always tell who the aloof characters are because they always wear way too much makeup. They do. Um... Uh, Elmer? Rhoda... Oh, Rhoda's one of the few exceptions. Like, yes, she's a rainbow chicken, but she's not wearing a very much makeup except for blush. Oh, Marty, you're priceless. You know that. You're like a peppy little bag of fun, Clucky. By the by, did you need something? Delivery! <laughs> you! Where have you been? If you'd taken one minute longer, I would have lodged a complaint with N Tom. Uh, okay, she's dropping down my least favorite. Which this card. It perfectly matches the sheer elegance of my room. Most common folk don't know this, but you simply have to have carpeting and wallpaper that set each other up. Well, anything would be better than the wallpaper. Just by the looks of you, Marie I bet has. your wallpaper and rug look positively awful. Dang, she's the worst! Ugh. <laughs> Rainbow Chicken? Rainbow Chicken went from like one of my favorites to my least favorite. Oh. More than Tabby. She's not lying though. My wallpaper It's true, sucks. but she's she judged that based sure on how even, you personally look. I'm sure even the ratty old carpet I've been using would make your room look better. But I like my hardwood flooring. I want yeah, a wall. Wallpaper is what Marty Of course, even this carpet might be too glamorous. Shut up! Go she's away. the worst! Okay, I will say I appreciate how in New Leaf the animals are way nicer. But they also won't do that many chores. All right. That's true. This what is, is the only Animal Crossing game where you can act- Citrus carpet! That's, just, that's a great carpet. Holy Never cow. Never mind. Rainbow Chicken, you're great. No, she's not. She's Rainbow she Chicken, be, you've got she, good style. That is true. But, holy cow. Yes, what an odious personality. Citrus carpet looks awesome. And I'm, not yes. even, I'm not even a fan of purple or orange, but- Ooh, It even matches my totem pole! 
It does match the bear pole, but your wallpaper still looks so Oh, crap. I know. <laughs> I, lo I literally looks like I just moved into, like, a hole. Oh, I just thought of something. What? We could make a pattern that's literally just duct tape and just have a duct tape palace. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> that was very random. Welcome back to your employee. Very good Yes, It looks like you're finally getting the Hanafines around here. Oh, Next, he's going to make you deliver an axe to Taddy. Yeah, they like that. Yo, I'd be happy no, if you work here full time. Oh, man. Tabby, I already need to write to. Okay, so here's five. Wow, that's quite a bit. Next thing you... Oh! oh what? How did you know? Okay, because he always wants you to deliver an axe to the person you wrote a letter to. So oh. they can be like, oh, I got your letter. Oh. <laughs> Weird stuff you wrote. <laughs> Please be careful with it. I don't want to give Tabby an axe. She looks a little unhinged. <laughs> I see that look in your eye. I don't get any ideas. If you cut down any trees, you'll have to get your own axe. What? <laughs> Very good, then. Give it your best shot. And tell me when you're done, yes? So you can't... So you have an axe, and that's a tool, but you can't actually equip it to yeah. cut trees down. I wanted to chop down the trees. Okay, actually, let's not go it. overboard with the chopping the chop trees down. down. Down, and, uh, I, I gotta get used to this town layout. And then after this, I believe that you're on the last favor, which is right the bulletin board uh, oh, advertisement, yeah. which is Tabby. awesome. Tabby's wearing a fishbone shirt. Well, hello again. If it isn't the encore of Marty, how super for me, meow. Me wow. Me wow. That is the perfect Tabby voice, can I just say? <laughs> oh, wow, thank you. You're the coolest. Hey, wait, I'm such a space cadet. I was gonna ask you, are you the one who sent me this letter? Uh, no. <laughs> hey, Tab. No. Nook is making me his personal slave. Send help. And cookies from Marty. <laughs> I know. There's somebody else in this town named Marty. They're, uh, Eagle. <laughs> Maybe you haven't met them. Everyone in this town just loves getting letters. Because it's 2002. We say every single one. Meow. Yeah. And you know what else? The only thing better than getting letters is showing them off. Wait. You're gonna show my letter off to- Okay, you're gonna move into town and be like, Oh yeah, Marty's great! Look she at sent this me letter. this advertisement from Tom Nook! Holy cow! <laughs> no, I've had that happen. And like, even though we all live in Botopia now, who knows when somebody might move? I mean, you know, when I move, I'm gonna totally bring every single letter I've ever gotten with me! Call me wacky! Yeah, you're weird. Show off my new friends. What happen? Yeah, so here's the thing, when whenever you send an animal a letter, that letter is- with them forever, and they can show it off to anybody. Even if they move town to like a friend's town, yeah. they will show the letters off to the, that person. So we actually had a church friend who also yeah, oh crossing gosh. it, who got one of our villagers, and she's like, uh, so she keeps sending me these letters from Link, because like it was Carmen the Mouse. <laughs> like, oh, she yeah. keeps sending me this, like, showing me this letter that Link sent where it's like, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Me? No, no. Uh -oh. <laughs> All right, what to do? Your next job will be write an advertisement in the paper. Yeah. <laughs> You've seen the bulletin board in front of the house. I want you to write an ad for Shut my. Shut up, Nook! I want to write. Uh, this you can write whatever catchy slogan you want. Just don't write anything that might embarrass me. Once you write it, it's something, and then you can erase it. All right, let's go. I'm gonna write this. Write empty. something original, please. Okay, I I I gotta think. My artistic. You can again, much like the letter. You can write whatever you want. You don't even have to write anything if you don't want to. Ain't he shook? That's not yeah, an no, that doesn't work. <laughs> it's so pure. No, but that's like rapping. Uh, what's the something that rhymes rap. with Nook besides Crook? Nook, 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 like Captain Hook. He sucks. Totally. totally. Peter Pan. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's something Peter Pan would write. <laughs> Are you that. expecting a rhyme? Too bad. Oh, wow, we should die. That's just a rhyme, though. I know. <laughs> Welcome back. Did you put a buzz generating ad up there? Something animals will talk about over the water cooler. Oh, oh they'll yeah. talk about it already. <laughs> Very good, yes. I suppose hmm, that means. Yes, you're all done. All the work I hadn't gotten around to is all now all done. How wonderful for me. Mm -hmm. Since I don't have any more work for you to do, I'm afraid I have no choice but to let you go. Hmm, the rest of your mortgage? Oh, of course, you still have to pay all of it off. That's how life works. Let me just have a look at my records here. Hmm, yes, so far, you've worked off a total of 1,400 bells. So you have 17,400 bells left to pay. Not exactly a sum to sneeze at, hmm? Since there's no more work for you here, you'll have to figure out how to pay it off on your own. Now, how could a youngster go about making it some bells? Well, you can run errands and selling things you no longer need to, hmm? That should generate some cash flow, I should think. Catch. Fish. If you've got stuff to sell, just talk to me. Mm, yes, I'll give you a very fair price for everything like you got. Like ten bells. 
Only the sissy bass. Oh, and when you want to make a mortgage payment, uh, do go at the post office. Tax purposes, you know. Mm -hmm. If you can pay off about a thousand bells a week, that'll work for me. Otherwise, I'll have to send you my raccoon goons. <laughs> Whoa! Just a joke. Once you pay it all off, we can talk about remodeling the place. That house you've got now is pretty small, after all, and I'm sure you'd like a little more room, yes? Well, thanks for your help. I hope you'll see me for all of your future shopping needs. Mm -hmm. You're broke. I'm broke. What? Yes! I'm finally done working! I'm free! I'm free! Okay, let's go home. Oh, it's playing the one o'clock cat song. <gasps> it's the one o'clock cat song! It's the one o'clock cat do, song. Do, do, yeah. Yep. It's great having your pets there. Welcome home, Marty. How can I be of assistance? So you can save your name, you can store an item, other things. You can uh, put a pattern on the door, or you can personalize a message when people are out. <laughs> Tom sucks. That's referencing an IGN review where, like, Kingdom Hearts re Chain of Memories came out. And they're like, oh yeah, Kingdom Hearts, more like Kingdom Sucks! <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Go to save. Alright, that's gonna do it for this episode then, I suppose. When you save, you go into the house and a random villager will be here. Too. Appearing in the dark. Why, hello, it's Kiki. Kiki! Are you done playing? What would you like to do? Let's save, save and quit. quit. In that case, I'm gonna save over your town leader. This will just take a time. This is cute. Kiki looks like Kiki she's is from Kiki. Kiki's delivery service. Yeah, it's great. Kiki is one of my favorites. She's, I've never she's the Kiki. nicest person in town by far. Sorry to keep you waiting. I hope you'll come see me again soon, kitty cat. Hmm.